Hi guys, it's Danny. Alrighty, here's an idea video for you guys. I've managed to identify my red beauty that I received from my orchid friend. Here we go. This is the Oncidium or Wilsonara. Wilsonara is the old name. Diane Finston Red Ruby Variety. Now, there is a lot of variety on the internet. If you search for this one, you will find this particular orchid with a little bit of a difference on the lip pattern. I'm not sure exactly why because I also found it on Rolke, which is a orchid nursery. I'll post the links that I found it on um, down below. So if you're interested in purchasing this one, you can find it there. Also, I found it on a commercial website that supplies orchid stores and stuff like that. The commercial name is just Red Ruby for this one, but yeah, there's no doubt this is the one. Now, because this is a little bit different, and I hope you can see the pattern on the lip, I'll actually name this one a little bit myself as well. I'll name it Cora, because my friend is just so dear to me. It's not an official name, but, you know, I'm free to name my orchids however I want. Anyway, I already made an ID sheet on this one on orchidnature.com. You can find out more about this particular one and its parentage and so on. Also some measurements, some pictures and so on. It's really hard hard to actually capture the true color of this orchid on camera. It is that type of red that absolutely reflects light somehow and it appears much redder, much lighter on video. But it's actually a pretty dark red flower. Really I'm not sure how to <laughs> film this orchid. But as you can see, the flower is really not tiny. So yeah, I'm not sure why this was reclassified as an Oncidium. It does not look like an Oncidium. It looks really like a Wilsonara. But anyway, you can find this one under both of these names if you just search for it. Now a few words on this orchid. It is not fragrant. Most Wilsonaras are not fragrant. If you stick your nose into the flower, maybe you will feel a sort of a, I don't know, vegetation type of smell, but it's, it's not perfumey. It's not what I would call proper fragrant. Uh, that's a downside, but I do believe it compensates. I don't know how to film this one to properly show you. Just look at these colors and the beautiful display of blooms. As I said, they're not tiny, so that makes up for everything. Pseudobulb wise, it just looks like a typical Oncidium. The pseudobulbs are not very tiny. They're not super big either. Leaves are not super big either, but it's really not a tiny orchid. So it will need some space in your growing area to properly display it. What I like most about it though is the beautiful lip. Hopefully you can see all these colors. It has an orangish yellow color marked with a sort of a purple, light purple, um, I don't know, line. It's absolutely wonderful. And you know I have a small addiction to red orchids, red flowers, also orange flowers. They're just absolutely beautiful, pretty rare in the orchid world. So I'm really, really happy that my friend actually found this orchid and she got it for me. Care-wise, I really would give it typical Oncidium care, although it's a Wilsonara and Wilsonaras usually don't necessarily require as much light. I think they can do well in lower light conditions as well. But if you can provide bright light, not necessarily direct sun, but bright light, sheltered sun, let's call it, I think she will be good. And of course, like all Oncidium type orchids, she really likes to stay moist. So I would go for a combination of bark and sphagnum moss perhaps and inside a pot which is very well ventilated. Other than that, I really don't think it will pose much trouble in care. If you're acquainted with Oncidiums, I think this will do good as well. This is one of those crown jewels of my collection really. If you see it up close, it's it's wonderful. Cameras don't really do it any justice. You need to see it in real life. And as I said, if you're interested in purchasing this one, just check the link below. It's a German shop. I'm not sure about USA sources. I will try to find it. Anyway, you can find the other variety as well, which is beautiful as well. It just has a different type of lip, a different pattern. It also has the lighter colored lip, but it's just a little bit different. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about this orchid, just visit the identification page. You can find the info card on the screen right now. Just click on that little eye and it will direct you there. Alrighty, so if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and a share. Subscribe to my channel for daily orchid videos and also feel free to leave me questions or suggestions for videos in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchidnature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you for joining. I'll see you next time. Bye!